Hello everyone! Hey everyone! We just wanted to thank you for following the video so far and joining us on our latest trip. Yeah, we uh, before we launch into our Disney merch haul, we just wanted to give a quick review of our overall thoughts about the trip. First, we just wanted to go over the great food that we had throughout the trip. Yeah, we got a lot of great reservations. Our friend actually made a lot of our reservations for the sit-down restaurants a couple months in advance. So Tiffin's, the Brown Derby, those were all made well in advance for us to go. We didn't have any issues getting those reservations. But we also got um, the Boathouse at Disney Springs a week in advance. We had that a Sunday reservation. And then on Monday, we actually had a walk up to Wine Bar George has had a seat there. You probably need a reservation for if you're going to Disney Springs on Friday and Saturday, but on a Sunday and Monday, those are probably pretty easy to pick off. Yeah, we, we didn't have any issues getting any reservations there. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a table service reservation for our Magic Kingdom day because we knew we were gonna wanna try all the Halloween snacks and we weren't disappointed. The Hatchet Bride cake, the um, nachos that you got. And even the huge like Halloween Disney cinnamon, cinnamon roll. roll. They were all so good. I love when they do the themed desserts. Magic Kingdom seems to always get quite a few. Mm -hmm. And based on what I've seen with the Christmas holiday treats and drinks that they have at all the different parks, I'm hoping we get to go back and try some of those. So fast passes, non-existent, everything standby. Mm -hmm. Unless you have a disability a pass which you can get at guest services at the entrance of every park. Yeah, they the wait times overall, especially during the week, I didn't think that they were too bad. You were only there Yeah, Sunday I was there Tuesday. Sunday through Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Everything probably nothing touched an hour wait time. Like when we were at Animal Kingdom, we rode uh, Expedition Everest twice in less than a half an hour. Yeah, Pandora did get a little high and then on our Tuesday at Magic Kingdom some of those rides get up to like 75 minutes like Big Thunder. Splash Mountain has had some longer wait times too and it seems to be breaking down quite a bit. When I was there on Saturday we did notice that there were longer wait times overall just because of the weekend. Uh, my friend and I took kind of a walking break and essentially stalked the entrance to Splash Mountain because it's her favorite ride and we wanted to be able to ride it. So we waited. It had been down for over two hours. We only waited 45 minutes and were the first ones on and got absolutely drenched in the front row. But that was what I noticed seemed to have the longest wait times. It was also really hot and so the water ride was somewhat appealing during the day. But Overall, I, I agree with you. I don't think that the wait times, most of them didn't touch an hour. No, everything but wait times, not an issue. In terms of crown size and capacity, our latest trip, Disney listed the capacity size at 25%. Uh, they since announced this past week that it's gone up to 35%. And based on some of the pictures we were seeing on social media, especially at Disney Springs, it looks crowded. It's crazy to think that at 25 going to 35 percent, there are times I still feel like the park is super crowded or like Disney Springs is super crowded. Yeah. A year ago when they didn't have capacity limits, I can't even imagine that anymore. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to think about anymore because now I think we're all just trying to give each other space or maintain space for ourselves that it's hard to think back on that. Um, the lines, Disney does a great job at keeping everybody distanced. They have those. I'm sure you've seen them, the little green stickers that say, please stand here, keeping everyone, all the crowd, um, the parties six feet apart within the line. And whoever made those stickers, you're making bank. Yeah. Good, good job. Good job. Um, it, because of the um, six foot distancing between the parties, the line does seem to be longer because everyone is spaced out so much and sometimes it pushes out into the main walkway. So you're seem to feel like you're intermingled with all the people just walking throughout the park. Um, but in, it's still nice to be spaced from those groups, um, to have your own bubble essentially while you're standing in line. Uh, in the puppet show at Hollywood Studios, Rizzo the Rat in that pre-show uh, says, oh, when everyone's really close together, we're really, it's a test to check other people's deodorant strength. Yeah. I don't want to do that again. No. 
So the pandemic has changed more than just wait times and social distancing in the queue. Um, it's also brought a lot of other changes to the parks. David and I always like to go um, to Disney during the fall to celebrate both of our birthdays and we like going to Epcot's uh, Food and Wine Festival and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And as you know, there have been some changes to that. Um, they cut down on a lot of the booths at Epcot's Food and Wine this year. Still quite a few, but not as many as they had in the past. And then obviously the Not So Scary Halloween Party and the Christmas parties, they're not having any more to try to maintain some sort of distancing. Yeah, they just totally cut out all those parties, but they're still bringing in a lot of the featurettes yeah. to just a normal park day. Like they have the treats, the decorations, one of the examples, uh, the cadaver dance. Mm -hmm. Normally the dapper dance on a normal day, but because they don't have the party, they just decided to bring those characters into a normal park day so they can have them play throughout the whole park. Yeah, and they have the, the character cavalcades. Normally they would have, um, during the parties, two parades in the evening instead of having those parades because they're not having the party. They kind of spread the cavalcades throughout the day. So to avoid crowd sizes, they don't announce when they're gonna be, but you can hear overhead when the music changes, kind of step over to the side and wait and see what characters are and coming. And they, 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 those cavalcades come out frequently. So you can get a lot of character interaction just through those, like the mini parades. Mm -hmm. We saw uh, the princess cavalcade and then the, the nightmare. nightmare Before Christmas one too. Yeah, it, it's really nice to still be able to see the characters. Granted, you can't do the meet and greets, but I don't know that anybody needs to be meeting or greeting right now. Um, for In terms of the Food and Wine Festival, David and I had gone when we went in September, and my friend and I went on this most recent trip. And like I said, they don't have as many food booths, but I feel like they're really utilizing that World Showplace building. Mm -hmm. um, so Disney has a building in between the UK Pavilion and Canada, Normally they have random character meet and greets kind of down that corridor, but right now they're using the building, um, where did we got the nitro cake pops mm -hmm. in there, mac and cheese. Yeah, and then they have that brand new like store that they have. The... Mm -hmm. the, like the festival store. Yeah. They have all the merch that they have, the little booths throughout the, the world showcase. It's all featured within that store, so it's a kind of a one-stop shop. And they even had the arrows down on the floor to sh kind of keep the stream of people going in the same direction to also maintain the social distancing. And with that being said, we are moving to the hall. Merch! Merch. Um, because of the 30% off for pass holders that they were having, plus some other sales on 2020 merchandise and other items, I, we probably bought more than we normally would, but we're going to show everything to you. We got merch at the parks. At Disney Springs. And my friend and I actually made a trip out to Winter Haven to Forever Vintage to get some exclusive Disney merch and hotel decorations and stuff out there. Let's merch. do it. So at Forever Vintage in Winter Haven, um, they have a really neat deal with Disney where they're able to bring in exclusive like merchandise and um, old room hotel room decor and sell it there at the um, surplus store the owner actually takes a team in to disney hotels when they're doing renovations uh, electricians the whole shebang they help tear down the rooms and then disney allows them to purchase different items from the rooms that they bring back and then sell in their store so one of the items I got at Forever Vintage was this awesome table runner. It says dreams come true. And at the bottom, it even has these little crowns with gems. On the other side, you can see um, the word princess with the Cinderella castle on it. It does have a little bit of staining, but I just thought it was so awesome. I'm going to see if I can get the stains out because I really want to use it for our table. I'm not sure whether this was used at... Um, Disney special events at Disney World or on the cruise line. So if you know, leave a comment below. I also got this water bottle from Disney Springs that I thought was really neat that they use at their restaurants there. I also got this 100 Years of Magic Ball ornament. My mom always had these when uh, my sister and I were growing up and I have some for our own tree here. Um, but I thought this one was so neat. It's got a bunch of characters on it, the Epcot ball. 100 years there. It's really neat. I also got uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party pin from 1999. 
I just love collecting old vintage things and this is one of the years we went to the park when I was growing up. Back in the day, McDonald's had these um, Muppets cups. So I got some of these, the great Muppet caper. I know how much David likes the Muppets, so I thought I'd get some of them. They had three different ones there. So the first one was Miss Piggy. They also had this one with the hot air balloon. Gonzo, Kermit, Fozzie Bear. It's really cool. Last one they have is Kermit on his bicycle with the gang. There's Animal. Um, I wasn't able to get the fourth one in the set. They only had these three. So this is my favorite thing that I got when I was at Forever Vintage. It's a pillow that actually came from one of the rooms at the Grand Floridian. Um, when my sister and I both graduated college, we went to Disney with my mom and one of our best friends and stayed at the Grand Floridian. I was so excited when I found this pillow that I had to have it. Um, unfortunately, with all these items, I got rid of the receipt. It was texted to me, so I can't tell you how much everything was. Um, pretty much everything was reasonably priced. My friend also got some awesome chairs from either the Yacht Club or the Beach Club that she's using outside her house to decorate because that was one of uh, her family's favorite hotel rooms. They have a lot of different um, lights from the Wilderness Lodge. I know right now they're redoing the Polynesian Resort so they're getting some of the tiki lamps and other items from there. Some of the paintings are up. It's an awesome store. They're only open on Saturdays starting at 10 a.m. I encourage you to get there early because the parking lot was almost filled and we got there shortly after 10. Um, but it's great so check it out if you get a chance. So my first day at the park, my friend and I went to Epcot and we were able to visit the exclusive pass holder store that they have as a pop-up store in the Germany Pavilion. I'm not sure how much longer they're going to have that, but um, we were able to get in line and get into that store to get some exclusive pass holder merch while we were there and just some other merchandise. Some of it was on sale, some of it was normally priced, but pass holder exclusive. Uh, the first things we have are pass holder magnets. They were all $14.99. Um, the pass holder discount applied, but there were no other discounts on these. Some Halloween figment. If you need me, I'll be in my happy place. I really like this pass holder and just like what I would assume to be Walt Disney World attraction font with like the churro is the P and then small world clock is the O. This the, is a cool one. The Tiki Bird is in the D. It was really neat. There's also um, this for a bar, like the bar mat from the Rose and Crown. This one was normally $32.99, but it was actually half off for $16.50 with the additional pass holder discount on top of it. Um, we have talked about putting a bar either in our basement here at the house or in a future home. So I wanted to grab this one while I was able to find it. Um, we also got some uh, magic bands. So these are the pass holder... It has Chef Mickey and Chef Minnie on it. I got one for each, one each for me and David. I just thought that they were super cute. These were $29.99 and the pass holder discount did apply. And here is some glassware from that pass holder shop in Epcot. These two glasses, these are margarita glasses. We have the Mexico Pavilion on it. Don't climb it. We have some, what are these called? Sugar skulls. Mm -hmm. And then the Un Poco Loco guitar. These were originally priced at $16.99, but with a 50% discount, both of these were $8.50 a piece. This next one, German Pavilion, glass. And it's got a Mickey here with everything Germany exclusive. We got a tuba, we got an accordion, we got some bratwurst. Um, on the receipt, this is called a German folklore tall glass. I don't know if this has a specific name to it, specific glass style, but if you know it, please let us know. So I also got some shirts at the uh, pass holder exclusive store in Epcot. The first one is this black women's tank. It's got Spaceship Earth here on the pocket. And then uh, the Mickey Mouse is made up of the flags of all the countries featured in the uh, World Showcase. And then I also got this uh, gray t-shirt with the Mickey pass holder magnet stamped on the pocket. They had some Mickey and uh, Minnie the chef 
uh, Mickey and Minnie t-shirts as well. I just like the original. Uh, the black tank top, it was normally $34.99, but it was 50% off, so $17.49 on sale. The pass holder tee was $29.99, and both of these had the uh, pass holder discount applied to them. One extra thing they did at the pass holder store, for every $50 you spent, you got either a Chef Mickey pass holder cutting board, or a Chef Mini, and it's kind of hard to see her here on the coaster set. I thought these were really nice. I wish this one had been a little darker printed on there, but I thought they turned out really neat, and I was excited to get these as a bonus for my purchase. So we also stopped in the World Show Place and went to the uh, Food and Wine Festival store there. So a few of the things we got there, we have the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2020 shirt with Figment popping out of the pocket. Um, it's also got a skewer with some veggies on there. And I just wanted to show, this is the other shirt. David and I got matching ones. But it has this little stitching on the bottom that has the 25th anniversary of the Food and Wine uh, Festival. It's got the little emblem there. They've been adding these to a lot of the different shirts when they're exclusive. So I thought that that was really neat. Um, these shirts are normally $29.99. They were on sale for $20.99. And then the uh, annual pass holder discount applied. There was also this 25th anniversary magic band with figment on it. It has Chef Figment here. It had the 25th anniversary emblem on there. Uh, this was $29.99 uh, with the additional pass holder discount on top of that. I also, I'm kind of a sucker for the Dooney and Burke magic bands. So this one comes in its own little box. It was a limited re uh, release food and wine festival band. You see it's got Chef Minnie on it and then Chef Mickey on the other side with some different food items. It was really neat so I thought I'd add it to the collection. They also have little side booths throughout the World Showcase pavilions. Um, some of the booths even have flower and garden items that were on sale back um, in February and March before the pandemic hit and the park shut down for a little bit. So one of the items I had there, we'd kind of been eyeing it the last time we were in the parks to get it for David. I decided to get it. I love this shirt so much. I am so excited to wear this on our next Disney trip. I kind of want to wear it right now. <laughs> Snazzy. So this shirt was normally $64.99. And at, oh, you are so fancy. We got it for $45.49 plus the additional pass holder discount. Worth it. Now, when we're shopping, I really want to look for that, uh, the dress that goes with it. Oh, matchies. At Hollywood Studios, my friend and I stopped at a store on Hollywood Boulevard on the way toward uh, Tower of Terror. I'm always looking for matching t-shirts. David and I, if you haven't noticed from the vlogs, like wearing matching t-shirts a lot. So I was able to find these new ones. They have, oh boy, park bound, feeling magical. This is David's shirt, so it's Mickey's head. And over here on Minnie's, it says fabulous, uh, bows and kisses, park bound, feeling magical again. I thought these were really neat. Normally these t-shirts are $24.99 each, but Disney has the deal if you buy two t-shirts, of a certain kind, they get marked down to $22 each, so I ended up getting that deal. Um, you can also see all their Americana gear was marked down with an extra discount on it. All of the mini ears are normally $29.99. These were on sale for $20.99. And then um, I got this wallet, so when we were there at Disney in September, I actually picked out the matching lounge fly bag. I didn't buy the wallet at the time, and then I had buyer's remorse, so I ended up picking out the uh, Loungefly wallet when we were in Hollywood Studios. I'm always looking, I want, I mean, you want the characters and everything lined up so you have your favorite characters on it, so I looked for this one with Orange Bird. He's cute! Here we have all ceramic tumblers for each of the parks. You can find each of these at the Starbucks location in each of the parks. These are the new updated versions. They just recently updated the design on all these ceramic mugs, and we'll just go across all of them one at a time. So this first one here is the Hollywood Studios one. We got the Tower of Terror. We got Toy Story Land. 
rock and roller coaster. All of these have their attractions, and they got Fantasmic down here as well. Next one, Animal Kingdom. All the attractions on here. I love these. These are so cool. And all of them have these uh, rotating tops. I always test them out in the store to make sure they work because some of them rotate better than others. And all of these have the Starbucks logo on the back of them. Next one, Epcot. Spaceship Earth right on the top of this one. This one is really interesting because this has rides on it that haven't even opened yet. So it has the Remy Adventure on here, the Remy ride, the Ratatouille ride that's coming out. Uh, the Play Pavilion on here. Harmonious, the new show that they have going on at the night. I'm assuming that they made all these designs before 2020 happened, but they're on the cup now and we have them. Magic Kingdom Cup, classic. Haunted Mansion, Peter Pan's Flight, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train up top. Oh, and what's that right behind it? Was this an ornament of the tumbler? So they have ornaments of every single one of these. I'm only showing this one, but you can picture the rest of the mugs as tiny ornaments. The final one, not a park exclusive, holiday exclusive. This is the fifth one of the Tumblr series here. Christmas Hoppy Holidays themed. We got uh, Small World, Christmas Decked Out, Castle, Christmas decked out, Christmas tree, everything you need. The Jingle Cruise is on the other side too, so they um, do, they change the Jungle Cruise to be the Jingle Cruise and make everything holiday themed, so that's on there. Um, when we were in World of Disney, they only had two of these left, so we snagged one up and someone was grabbing the other one. All these are priced at $24.99. So while we were at Animal Kingdom, we actually got some pins. Um, these were all, these first four were all in the silver price range, which is $9.99. And we'll actually insert the price range um, on the side of the screen so you can see the different pricing. So these first four, two of them were frozen. These two are Christmas themed, Mickey and Minnie with mistletoe. And then a gingerbread Mickey Mouse. Those are all $9.99. And then we have Chip and Dale here in their elf costumes. That one was $14.99 for the pair. I just thought that they were really cute. If you donate when you're checking out at Animal Kingdom, if you donate any amount of money to the Disney Conservation Fund, you actually can get a pin. This one was a tiger. It was really neat. And then some other holiday merch. While we were at Disney at Animal Kingdom, they actually actually released all of the Christmas merch that day. You heard about the trials and tribulations with the peppermint bag, but I was able to get the peppermint set of ears. Hopefully the next time I go back, I'm able to get the bag. Uh, these were $29.99 and then you could apply the discount. And then in the Swan Hotel lobby, but they were also available at any other retail places, they had the Happy Holiday shirts. It's got Main Street, some shops, it has the tree, and the tree has a uh, carousel horse. It's got the It's a Small World dude, uh, Enchanted Tiki Bird. We have the dog with the keys from the Pirates ride. And then we have Mickey, Pluto, Donald, and Goofy with Dale over here riding on the little train. And Chip is the conductor. He's taking him for a ride. These shirts were $24.99 each, but just like the ones we got at Hollywood Studios, if you buy two, you can get them for $22 a piece. And that concludes the haul. Yeah, I know it kind of looks like we went overboard on some of the merch, and we probably did. Um, with the 30% off discount that Disney was featuring through the end of October, we figured we'd splurge a little because we don't know when we're going to get to go back to the park. Everything with the pandemic seems to be getting worse before it gets better, and we figured we would capitalize on it while we could. And we really appreciate you watching the video. So we wanted to give something back to you. Um, while we were in the parks, they were doing a special on all the 2020 merchandise. So they had these fancy 2020 ears. Um, they have the blue sparkly sequin bow. They have multicolored sequins on the ears. 
And then as you can see here on the side, they have the uh, 2020 year on there. So all the 2020 merch right now is buy one, get one. Um, with additional discounts on top of it. So we thought what better gift than to give you guys some fancy ears. So this giveaway will be on our Instagram channel. So I'll put the link on the bottom of this video, but it will also be a direct link to that post in the description in the video. Yeah, so just head over to Instagram. You'll see all the rules for the giveaway, the cutoff times. Um, and we hope you guys participate. We just appreciate you guys so much logging in and watching all of our videos. And with that, be sure to like and subscribe on this channel. Click the bell icon to be sure that you get the notifications when new videos come up. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.